Is it me? Is it me? Or have men become women and women become men now? Is it me? <laughs> yo, yo. I see grown men. Somebody in the chat says, was watching Gene Dio testimony on Diddy. Do you know that the only thing that we know Gene Dio for is sitting on the internet show by show by show, sitting here telling as many stories as he can possibly tell based off of what it is that he used to work for? That there are men that are sitting here trying to convict people based off of public opinion and not facts. I have never seen so many feminine men in my entire life. And it pains me. It pains me to actually even be having this conversation because I'm an advocate for men. All of these guys that called into my platform last night was telling me how somebody is supposed to go to jail based off of how they feel. Feelings? Feelings. We advocate for, and the thing that we've been pushing for since the beginning of time, since I can remember, since I opened up my eyes and I stepped off the porch, was that we don't convict people based off of accusations and public opinion alone. Where did that get lost in the sauce? Because you don't like somebody? So because you don't like somebody, you're telling me that you would wish jail on them without evidence. Now, when evidence come out, that's a completely different conversation. But are you telling me that we start to have conversations about how we feel about somebody that you didn't even do business with? L listen, listen. I can't stand Diddy. I absolutely, listen. Nobody was harder on Diddy. You want to go back, you want to look at the history on the Millionaire Morning Show, you want to look at the Anton Daniels channel, Cool, go look at it. Look at my review of what he was talking about before all of these accusations ever came up about how he was doing business and what he was advocating for when he was having that lawsuit against Diageo Brands. And it's funny, because when we go back and we look at that, I should pull that up. I should review that. When we come back and we pull that up, do you know that the entire chat was against me saying that I was wrong and that we need to stick together? Oh, man. You know what? I just remembered something. I remember doing a review video when he was on InvestFest for Earn Your Leisure. And he did his little pitch and he was giving his little million dollar thing over to them and he was saying, we need to stick together for the Bebo. And I was saying, nah, man, listen, you don't deserve nothing. In the same way that you did business with other people that was working for you when your record label is the same way that they did business with you. And if they didn't sign a contract or you didn't sign a contract that said that you own it because you was fronting, acting like you was an owner with Ciroc. They never gave you ownership. You was just a high-paid marketing person. And so they paid you for your services. And so I held him accountable in the same way that I held other people accountable that signed a contract with Diddy. And every single person in the chat was like, no, man, you, need, you was wrong. You need to stick together. We need to be a part of the black community. We can't just do all of this and so on and so forth. And people was pissed. I remember looking at the comments. I remember looking at the comments and I said, listen, he capping and I can't believe y'all falling for the okie doke. And y'all was like, no, man, you ain't a part of the community. You ain't holding it down. You can't believe you can't believe these white companies, Diageo and none of this and these companies ain't even for us. And we buying their products. And, and y'all came at me because I was not on the same on the same wave. I said, no. Nah. I said, no, nah, F Diddy. F what he talking about just because he go on the platform. Then he's sitting here and he's dropping an album of a love album. That don't mean that I'm rocking with him. That don't mean that I'm rocking. And the whole chat, not everybody, but it's a lot of people that was in the chat and said, man, you ain't on code. Get on code. Fast forward, 2024, March. Hey, guys, we got to wait till the evidence is out. I don't like Diddy either as a person. I think that he's a monster when it comes to all of this freak offs and stuff like that. But hey, wait, 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 wait. The one thing that we don't do is we don't wish jail on people based off of theories and accusations. We got to actually wait for the contracts and the evidence and to see the evidence before we just convict somebody in the court of public opinion.
Oh, Anton, you trying to get a contract with Diddy? What? What? What are you talking about? I've been one of the people that's been the most subjective, and I give my authentic thoughts based off of what I see people say as far as they coming out of their mouths specifically. So Diddy was the one that was talking about it. And I want to look at the evidence. When did that switch? Okay, so now you're not on code no more, right? Because I don't believe in being on code at all. I believe that you just go based off of whatever it is that you see, and that's how you determine whether or not you rocking with the person or not. But you're not on code no more? What happened to all of the people that was on code with him? Y'all not on code no more? Oh, wait a minute. You, you abandoned your blackness all of a sudden. Because you don't like, so wait a minute, you telling me all of those complaints and accusations and contracts wasn't there when he was on InvestFest talking about his, his legal battle with a Diageo? All of a sudden, everybody forgot that they was on code. Because all of those same people, and Gene Deal, and Mark Curry, and all of those people were still out there. They was all out there at the same time, way before that. So either people are just contrarian or y'all genuinely snakes. And the only thing that you like to see is people fall. And, and, and again, I'm open to the possibility that I'm wrong, but it, that's weird to me. That is weird to me that regardless of the side of the fence that you want, that people are not free thinkers. It bothers me that people are not free thinkers. You don't have a free thought in your body. Everything that you think is based off of what somebody else is saying. So your mama, can t this is why you vote the way that you do, because you don't even do your own research. The only thing you care about is what somebody else's opinion is. I seen somebody come up on the platform last night. So, man, so Anton, you telling me uh, the, the, the character or, or, you know, his profile? I mean, God, his, his children was arrested. I said his children wasn't arrested. What you talking about? Yes, they were. You telling me what I seen on the news and his children was handcuffed and they was being dragged? I said they detained him, but they didn't arrest him because they pulled him out of the house in order to have a spectacle and put him in front of the cameras so that they can make you think the way that you think, but they didn't actually arrest anybody. They just removed them out of the house so they can continue their search. Oh, 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 but you're still wrong. Then why did, why did they stop him at the airport? Well, I mean, according to the news reports and his lawyer, they saying that he's not restricted on travel and everybody is still able to travel wherever it is that they want to travel. Why do you say he's running? And then I pulled up the evidence and I pulled up the news report from all NBC Los Angeles. Oh, I still want him to go to jail. Why? Because, I mean, where there's smoke, there's fire. So evidence don't matter now? You know, I wish y'all had this same level of enthusiasm when it came to our politicians. I wish y'all had this same level of enthusiasm when it came to voting and your leaders and your city council members. I wish y'all had this same level of enthusiasm for Biden and Kamala Harris. I wish y'all had this same level of enthusiasm when it came to making sure that you, this same energy, this same energy when it comes to policy, when it comes to legislation, when it comes to taxes, when it comes to our laws, when it comes to making smarter decisions, when it comes to the, the, curriculum that, that, the curriculums that you pick in. I wish y'all had the same level of, of energy and smoke. For the, listen, we sit here and I have a conversation every single day about this migrant crisis. We discuss it, we mine it out, we look at the evidence, we see where it is. That the, we see men every single day coming up to the border. We know that women are literally flying across this country. We also look at alleged, alleged, let me use the right words, the alleged stories of women being trafficked by who? Can I really say it on this platform? 
of women being trafficked when it comes to this migrant crisis. And nobody is saying nothing. Quiet on the set. But let Drake drop a new freestyle and K-Dot drop a new... Oh! Oh, that's how you got to react to this. That's why I got to put the medicine in the candy. That's why I got to put the medicine in the candy. I got to teach you through the entertainment because the only thing that you're enthusiastic about is making sure that you on code and off code, depending on how you feel about a person. This is... This, it, All of the people want to see him fall, but all of them was rocking with him. And guess what? You know what the funniest part about this conversation is that they will never, ever admit that they was on his team and it was on his side. Because that Love album, it was heavily streamed. <laughs> he just dropped the album and y'all was dancing to it. And Carisha, please. And y'all were saying, hey, let's make sure that we support Revolt TV because this is our platform for us, by us. You bought every album. You danced to the music. You supported Ciroc and you drunk up. What, all of these allegations wasn't available when y'all was drinking Ciroc and Diageo brands? All of y'all showed up to InvestFest to see him speak. It was sold out. Everybody been rocking all of this time because, listen, let me tell you something. When you really want to understand whether or not people support or not, they support it with their actions. They support it with their money. See, we can talk all of this nonsense on the Internet that we want to, but in reality, in reality, everybody was dancing. Everybody wanted to be invited to the party. Nah, it ain't no more parties. Smoke cleared. Everybody gone. Everybody gone. Nobody. Everybody was trying to get a record deal. Nah, ain't nobody trying to get a record deal no more. When he was brother love, y'all was loving on him. Y'all so fake. So fake. Faker than a $3 bill. Faker than a $3 bill. Fair weather. Switch on them. Fair weather. Switch up. Amazing. Amazing. I'm going to say what I want to say, bro. I don't care who like me. I don't care who don't like me. I don't care who agree with me. I don't care who don't agree with me. Fake. Fake. With friends like these, who need enemies? <laughs> oh my God, Kendrick dropped a new verse. Mid verse. Mid as ever. I'm going to be honest with you. I re-listened to that uh, the Future and, and Metro Boomin album yesterday. It really wasn't that great. It really wasn't that great. 